pre-k kids today i have a story i wanted to share with you it's called at the pond a lot is happening at the pond at the pond fast frogs leap for bugs to eat would you like to eat a bug with me yum right at the pond, lily pads float with blooms to tote. What can you carry? At the pond, plump slimy snails leave glistening trails. How slow can you go? At the pond, crawfish scuttle and make bubbles. How do you make bubbles? At the pond, turtles meet in sunshine sweet. Where do you meet your friends? At the pond, a mama duck quacks to her ducklings in back. What's behind you? At the pond, who is watching? Fast frogs leap, lily pads float, snails leave trails, crawfish scuttle, turtles meet, and a mama duck quack. Is it someone with scales on his back? Who is it? Do you know who that is? I bet you do. You guys are pretty smart. At the pond, dragonflies dance among the plants. What is your best dance move? At the pond, graceful fish swerve and swish. How fast can you say swerve and swish? At the pond, water striders dash without a splash. How quickly can you move? At the pond, cattails rustle in a breezy tussle. What do you do when it's windy? At the pond, mayflies land on stalks and sand. Where would you go if you could fly? At the pond, who is watching dragonflies dance, graceful fish, water striders dash, cattails wrestle, and mayflies land? Is that him crawling through the sand? It's an alligator. Look, he looks in murk and murk. Look, wearing just the slightest smirk. Hiding in the water blue. What do you think that I will do? Here's some fun facts all about ponds and all about the animals and plants in this book. Did you know that frogs don't need to drink? They absorb water through their skin. Did you know that dragonflies need warmth in order to fly? If the sun goes behind a cloud, they will land. Did you know that a duck's feathers are so waterproof that even when the duck dives underwater, its downy underlayer of feathers will stay completely dry? Did you know that turtles are also called sparkies? Baby turtles are called sparkies. I never knew that until I read this book. Did you know that water striders can talk to each other by sending ripples to each other on the surface of the water? And did you know that American alligators have between 74 and 80 teeth? And did you know that they will have up to 2,000 or 3,000 teeth in their lifetime? So they can lose a tooth and then get a new tooth back over and over again? Also, did you know that water lilies and lily pads float on top of the water with their roots in the soil at the bottom of lakes and ponds? Let's go back and look at that picture of the water lilies and the lily pads. Have you ever seen water lilies? Those are the flowers you see. Have you ever seen lily pads floating on a lake or pond? Or a frog, don't you think it would be fun to hop from lily pad to lily pad to get around? They're pretty cool looking. So we're going to make a picture today. Well, actually, you're going to get to make your own pond with your own water lilies and lily pads and frogs to hop around. So here's what you need for this project today. Look for this in your supply bag. You're going to need your paper plate, your mini cupcake wrappers, your glue stick and your crayons, and your strip with the frogs on it. Oh, and your scissors so you can cut them out. Right. 
So go ahead, color your plate so it looks like a lake. Add in some green lily pads and then glue on your flowers. What color do you want your lilies, your water lilies to be? They could be pink with white in the middle. They could be white with yellow in the middle. However you want them to look. And then color some of your frogs. Cut them out and have them hop around. Looks like a lot of fun to me. Have fun with this project. I'll see you again tomorrow. We're gonna do a cattail collage tomorrow. It should be fun. See you then. Bye. Miss you guys.